Welcome to Afra's Artifacts, where we do some archaeology of our own and dig into the queer side of Star Wars. I'm your host, Alia Morgane, and it's so great to have you here. Well, today we're going to do a brief video talking about L337, the droid most prominently seen in Solo, A Star Wars Story, Lando's droid, love her, she's feministic, she's a strong individual, she's a great character, and yes, she's a droid, but she still might be queer. So in this book, Last Shot, by Daniel Jose Oldair, there is a comment from L337 that hints at the fact that she could be bisexual, pansexual, lesbian, don't know, but she might be queer. So let's um, back up a little bit. And I will say that this book, Last Shot, is full of multiple timelines. One of those timelines is a flashback timeline for Lando and L3. And we start at Waystation Carambola, where Lando is just about to gain a bed buddy for the night. And L3 interrupts with an important mission. So they go on this important mission, and Lando asks her if the mission is about love, and if there's a handsome boy droid out there waiting for her. Her response is fabulous. She says, I'm curious why you presume the droid I am interested in would be a boy. Love it. And I think it's strange that Lando assumes that it would be a boy droid because if you'll check out my video on Lando, you'll find out that the producers of Solo Star Wars Story um, claim him to be pansexual. So why a pansexual person would assume that anyone would be with someone of the opposite sex, I don't know. I don't understand that. Um, there's also the bit in this particular novel where Sana Sardis is a main character and in one of the timelines and she's a lesbian. She, her, one of her exes is Dr. Afra, And the whole time Han is running around flirting with her and saying, oh, she's digging me and all this stuff. No mention of her being a lesbian at all. And it's highly irritating. And it's so strange because Daniel Jose Aldair is typically very queer friendly. So I don't understand how queerness fell through the cracks for this particular novel. But I do love that L3 is given that bit of potential queer agency with her. I'm curious why you presume the droid I am interested in would be a boy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, so she might be queer. That's all I've got. <laughs> so I hope you um, enjoyed learning just a little bit more about L3. Um, I will say that I am still wanting to do the raffle. Um, if you donate $5 to the GoFundMe for the Amidala Initiative to support trans youth in Texas, you'll be entered into a raffle to win a hand crocheted stuffed animal, Star Wars stuffed animal, variety of choices, to, options to choose from. Um, yeah, I would, I really want to do this raffle. I want to support trans youth and I want to make something cute to give away. So be sure to enter the raffle. Be sure to donate $5 to the GoFundMe for the Amidala Initiative. And I will see you next week. So remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Alia Morgan, and peruse my blog at the Star Wars Review at blogspot.com. May the Force be with you.